Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. And a warm welcome to all of you who are actually here today to attend this session. Uh, I'm really happy to see uh, close to around 55 centers already connected, and I'm sure many more are going to join in. And uh, we have we have uh, expected audience of 500 plus today. I really feel you know proud that we actually have this kind of facility where we can connect all the centers at one time and you know leverage this technology and ensure that our guest speaker uh, who is with us is actually able to address all the students of NIIT in one go itself. Uh, I have with me today uh, Shanti Raju from Oracle. I'm sure many of you would have met her during her visits to the centers, especially South and uh, Hyderabad would have really got an exposure to actually, you know, having some in-person discussions with Shanti also. She is from Oracle. She's our single point of contact. We've been working very closely together to ensure the benefits are passed on to the students. And all the latest updates of the technology are passed on to the students uh, directly from Oracle sometimes and also otherwise from NIIT. Uh, I also want to welcome uh, with us, we have uh, one guest speaker. She is a senior leadership leadership uh, person from Oracle. She has come from uh, US to actually conduct the session for you, uh, Dinah Godwin. She's she has spent 20 years with Oracle. In her in her tiny tenure uh, with Oracle, she has actually handled a lot of leadership positions, uh, global strategies. She is currently uh, handling the portfolio of certification, uh, Oracle certification leader. She is responsible not only for marketing and from making strategies, but she's also taking care of the operational, uh, uh, operational aspects of certification, uh, including the pricing, including uh, the examination setting, setting up the examinations, also alliancing with various partners across the globe. Uh, so I, I would actually, uh, you know, want to actually hand over to Dana here so that she can take us through the entire deck that she has, and we will uh, try to take benefits from the presentation that she's going to make. There is going to be a Q and A round. I would want you to please keep hold on to your questions, whatever you have during the session, and keep it, keep noting down the same. Maybe you can actually put a raise hand request and type your questions. We will have a separate 15 minutes at the end of the session. We will have a separate time block for Q&A, and three of us will try to answer all your queries. In case if there is a possibility of not taking some of the questions at the end, I would want you to please uh, visit the uh, visit your uh, coordinator at the center, local center itself, and submit your questions there. And the questions will be passed to me from your coordinator. So we will handle it either here or offline, don't worry, all your questions are going to get answered. Thank you so much. So a warm welcome to Dinah. Uh, hi, Dinah. Hello. Dinah Godwin is here. Great. Well, thank you very much for that warm welcome, and thank you for having me here today. This is really an honor to visit India and to meet with you today. Uh, this is my second visit to India, and I've been to uh, the southern part once before, but this is my first trip to Delhi. And it's been an absolutely fabulous experience. Thank you, Shanti, for your hospitality. I'm so impressed with your country, your people, uh, your traditions, everything. It's just fabulous. But I'm most impressed with the people and um, your work ethic and how much you are engaged in learning and improving yourself. So I just wanted to give you a little bit of background about myself. Um, similar to you, I started out um, wanting to get into IT. And that was over 20 years ago. Uh, Oracle was not what Oracle is today at that time. It was a quite a small company at that time, and I was very motivated to get into the IT industry. I completed my studies and um, started out in actually in the um, product development area for our application products at that time. So uh, again, same interest, wanted to get into technology, completed my studies, and started out in product development, and then, as she said, um, moved through some of the management roles and strategic planning um, and then most recently moved into Oracle University. And I love Oracle University. It's a very, um, it's a smaller part of Oracle, but we have the opportunity to actually work with our customers and our, the people that are using Oracle products. And most importantly, what we're doing is we're enabling them to be successful with Oracle products, which is very fulfilling. 
And then in the certification program, what we're able to do is actually provide some validation that people can um, uh, provide to others on their expertise. So it's a very fulfilling role, and uh, we love meeting with our customers and providing value in that way. So just a, a brief overview on what I'd like to cover with you here today. Um, starting out, I want to just give you a, a, a brief overview with, of our Orca University and our certification program. We'll talk about some of the, the challenges in the IT space and how we're trying to address those with Oracle certification. We'll talk about the demand for Oracle and Java skills, and then give you some insights on what's coming from Oracle certification. Okay, so we'll get going here. So um, Oracle University is actually one of the world's largest training organizations. Uh, we have worldwide classes in over 31 countries. We translate our training into 27 languages. So for those that like to learn in local language, we provide our training in local language. We have over 1,300 courses. Uh, every week, we deliver over 600 classes. And we've moved into this model, which is a virtual model, where the instructor might be at headquarters in San Francisco or in London or even in Delhi. And they're able to deliver their training to students all over the world. So this is definitely the model that the training industry is moving towards. So it's great to see that NIT has set up these, um, this capability as well. Uh, we have over 109 on-demand courses. And on-demand is a little bit different than our virtual delivered courses. On-demand courses are actually recorded. So if this session may be recorded, you would be able to go log on and access this session. And within that um, course, you're able to search on specific topics. You're able to view the training uh, as you see fit. And we have up to five days of training recorded at a, at a time for students to access. This has been very, very popular in North America for um, parts of the world where traveling has become quite expensive. Uh, students prefer to stay in their home offices and view the training on demand. We train over 200,000 students a year. So again, if you think about Oracle Corporation, massive, massive company, but in other parts of Oracle, they deal with a company, maybe one or two contacts. We actually do deal with students, and we have many, many students come through our doors every year, um, either directly through our training centers or with our partners. So we have over 500 partners globally. NIT, of course, being one of our main partners and most strategic partners, thank you. Uh, but the, the partners uh, enable us to deliver training on a global reach. And then finally, Oracle certification. At this point, we have close to 2 million uh, individuals out there who have earned our credentials. So within Oracle University sits Oracle certification program. So we roll up in the training organization of Oracle. Uh, Oracle is responsible for training not only our customers, but also our partners and our employees. So it's a very large organization. We provide our certification programs to all those audiences as well. Uh, we, again, we uh, end up testing about 200,000 students a year, and we end up granting about 110 certifications. Uh, some certifications require multiple exams, so it gives you a sense for that. Um, we have over 220 unique credentials. I know in the NIT program, we're focused primarily on database and Java. But um, on a, a global reach, we provide over 220 different credentials that represent the entire Oracle stack of technology. Uh, we offer our exams to our testing partners in over 4,800 locations globally. And I think this last point is very interesting. We, um, Oracle certification website, so within Oracle, if you log on and go to the Oracle certification page, we get over 1.2 million visits every month. And if you can, again, think about how huge Oracle is and all the products we offer, we're the top five site within the Oracle um, portfolio website. So there's a tremendous amount of interest about our program, and we get many, many visitors every month coming to learn. So then, again, this is another snapshot of how we organize our credentials. As I mentioned to you, we have over 220 credentials. Um, our main credential are based in both database and Java, as you can see. Um, and then we also offer them through different levels, which I'll speak to in a moment. But I just wanted to talk to you a little bit about how our exams are developed. And I thought you might be interested in learning about this. Um, my team is responsible for developing all the exams that you would take. And we actually, we don't use a third party to write exam items for us. All of our exam content is written by the Oracle engineers who either build the product or build the training that goes with the product or the consultants that help implement the product. So all of the exam items that you would encounter on the exam come straight from the source of Oracle. So we're very proud of this. It's a very involved process that we follow in writing our exam items. We make sure that the content that we're asking is appropriate to the technology 
to the level of the individual, the credential that they're going for, and the job role that they're pursuing. We extend a tremendous amount of effort in building our exam. We go through a very elaborate uh, beta process where we test out a huge number of items and then we see, see how those items prefer, perform in the market to make sure that they're doing what we want them to do. We use a third party uh, company that specializes in this analysis of exam items. So you can be confident that when you take an Oracle exam, you're taking an exam that was written by an Oracle technologist that works for Oracle and that they've been thoroughly tested in the market so they're accurate and appropriate for the, both the technology, the role, and the level that you're pursuing. Okay, so we'll move on here. So talking about the levels, um, I often get questions about, you know, you have so many levels, what are they? We start out with the Oracle Certified Associate level. This is our entry level credential. Um, you can kind of think about it as kind of a, um, an associate degree in a college. Then we move on to our professional level, which would be more considered a bachelor degree. And then our highest level credential is the Oracle Certified Master. These are extensive exams. They're um, delivered over a two-day practicum where you actually sit in a room and that you're required to do very specific uh, coding that is evaluated directly by Oracle. So the very, very high level master PhD type credential. But the majority of our business is done in both the associate and professional level. We encourage students to start as an associate and move on to the professional. But once you, you earn your professional level credential, we also offer expert credentials. And these are add-ons. So if you're a database um, professional, you may decide to learn uh, about performance tuning and becoming a performance tuning expert. So you can position yourself as a market as somebody that's certified in performance tuning. Perhaps you're into real application clusters, so you're a rack expert. Or you may decide that you're, um, you know, you're going to go for security experts, which I'll talk about later. So we offer a lot of variety, a lot of options for you once you get into your program. But just so you understand, you start in as the associate and you progress to the other level. Okay. So now I want to just talk a little bit about the IT market, and I'm sure many of you are very familiar with the market and what's out there, but just some of the demands that are on out there for computer scientists, uh, individuals that are skilled in technology. You know, as we know, many of the well-paying um, well jobs in the future will be focused around computer science. Um, these are globally, there are many more jobs in this space than there, were, there are workers, so there's a very high demand for computer scientists. And as, as, and as we all know, we're all extremely dependent on computers, technology for our day-to-day -day lives. So this is definitely the future. Um, you can see that the enterprise computing trends are growing in all of these spaces. Um, I won't go through each of them, but you can see in the global market, there's just a tremendous, tremendous amount of data that's out there. It's, um, you know, 50x growth in five years from now, um, all of the um, mobile, uh, uh, tools that are out there that we all depend on, and then the big move to the cloud, right? This, this whole off-premise idea is, um, you see, and something that we all need to understand and get involved in. And then finally security, right? We're so dependent on technology, but the security component of it is, is very, very key, and again, something that Oracle is very focused on. Okay, so, you know, I'm just going to share a little bit of data here with you. Um, again, I'm sure that you're familiar with this, but this just reinforces from a third party, many third parties, the importance of building, of building these IT skills and the demand for it. And that people are looking for these sorts of individuals. You can see that globally, um, IT staff is the, you know, the top eight demand for the having difficulty finding resources in this area. This is a recent trend, uh, a recent uh, survey done by Manpire, uh, 2014. But you can really see that, uh, you know, there is clear evidence that IT resources are in demand. And this is another, you know, another graph for you to, to demonstrate that the lack of technical skills is the number one, you know, complaint. We're trying to hire people and we just can't get the people with the technical skills. So huge demand out there. And then, um, again, if you're talking about actual skills. So, you know, we, we, we clearly documented the demand for IT, computer scientists, but this, um, this graph actually shows you, you know, the, the, the requirement for Java skills, security, and DBAs. So we're, we're very, um, you know, keyed in on this graph here because this is, uh, you know, this is telling the story around yeah. uh, the training needs and where we should be focusing. So, again, this is a very recent um, uh, study done by InfoWorld just, just this year. Okay.
we'll move forward just mm -hmm. let's look at some of the hand raised options we have some uh, very good morning good morning ma'am please be little okay so there's one request saying that please be little slow okay all right <laughs> with slide changing uh, slides are not coming totally oh so, you know, okay all yeah. right there's a little lag right thank you for that feedback Uh, so we just check it. So, is there is there a request to uh, go back uh, on the previous slides, or uh, now onwards we are, she's going to be a little slow, so we can we can actually take it forward <laughs> from here. In case if there is any such request, then we'll be a little more slow. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So let's talk about the actual demand for Oracle and Java skills specifically. So, Dana, we have now uh, 100 locations connected. Oh, great. Welcome, everyone. <laughs> okay. So, this um, slide, I, I, there are some data points here that I thought were interesting. You know, um, Oracle is run in 20 of the 20 top oil industry companies, insurance companies, 20 of the 20 top insurance companies, 20 of the 20 top banking industries. So Oracle is pervasive in the world right now, and actually when we've done the study here, it shows that 97% of the Fortune 500 actually run Oracle. So wow. Oracle is, is everywhere. Wow. Um, so every <laughs> one of these companies um, has a demand for Oracle technologists, uh, and if you're Oracle certified, again, you have, you'll have a leg up on the competition. But I think this is a very um, impressive list. and. Um, we like to, you know, obviously these many of these companies are partners as well, um, who are very opportunities also would yes. And many huge. of these, many of these companies, they also, uh, you know, uh, hire an IIT students. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. So Absolutely. In fact, uh, yeah, the very, 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 very recent experience from Deloitte, you know, Deloitte actually has been uh, preferring certified students only. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> this actually shows, you know, that there are opportunities across. <laughs> right. Okay. Again, so let's, you know, we can talk about Java, and you know, Java is everywhere. It's the number one development platform. You can see, um, obviously, we, we offer training and certification in the Enterprise Edition, the Standard Edition, so Java EE, Java SE, Java ME, um, but Java is everywhere. And so this is uh, an, a technology that it definitely is worth your while to invest in. Yeah. Um, I think you, you will not go wrong. Um, Developing your skills and earning your, your certification credentials in the Java space. Um, and this is just exploding. Um, it's you know I know there's a lot of development languages out there, but it all comes back. You know it, it, Java is always in the top of the list. Right. Right. I just you know I just wanted to do a little plug here for Java uh, Standard Edition 8. This is a very recent release for Oracle, um, but it's getting a lot of buzz. So I know again the Java programming language doesn't always change that much from version to version, but um, our experiences and talking with our product development teams, uh, working with the curriculum teams, and building the curriculum for Java FDA, this is definitely is a, this is something new. This is something for people to take notice of. And so we're very excited about that from a certification standpoint. Um, and I'll speak to that a little bit later. But there's a lot of buzz in the air around Java SE8, but you know, anyway, Java SE7, so I mean, Java SE6, all of them are very, a prominent, but we've got some excitement coming with Java SE8. Okay, so we'll reinforce this one more time, but just um, key trends to be aware of is there we're anticipating a 31% growth, um, you know, in the first part of 2010 to 2016 around database administrators, and that's a huge number. I mean, we don't see growth numbers in many businesses. Um, in the you know multiples like that, so that's a very compelling number. Thirty-one percent growth in database administrators. So there are a lot of opportunities in on database. Absolutely. Yeah. Exactly. And then the other one is from 2010 to 2020 for web developers, a 22 percent increase. And this is um, external data. This isn't necessarily Oracle data. This is external data that's been provided to us. Um, but again, very compelling and something that we take a lot of attention to in our our programs for both training and certification. Okay, go on. Yeah. Okay, uh, a few more quotes around uh, the high demand for Java developers. And I'll leave this up here for a moment so people can, can read it. Um, but as I was saying before, again, there's, there's a lot of programming languages out there, but when it comes back to it, 
people want Java skills more than anything else. Um, Dice.com, Java development was the most sought after software building skill by employers in the first qu quarter of last year. More than one in five of the 77,000 jobs posted on Dice contained some mention of the need for Java. Java developers skill set is a highly valued. Okay, it's been around for 20 years now. I think Java is having its 20 year anniversary this May. So this is a very um, mature, mature uh, development language that is highly respected. And then finally, the top technical skills demanded by employers over the past year include Java. So again, third party evidence of the importance and the... Um, so just to stop you here, Diana. Yes. So uh, we say that 20 years now we mm -hmm. are into Java language. Or C. Uh, moving forward, how many years we can foresee Java? I don't see it. I mean, I, I know Coming that... down, is it? No, I don't. I mean, I, I think... It's just going. As I was saying, the, the Java SE8 is, is very exciting. Um, it's, there's been a, a, a very significant change, um, and it's been very well, well received for the market. So to me, that, that just is a great sign. So wow. students, this is very important for you <laughs> to know that it's not just the current but also the future. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And um, yes, yeah, so we're planning a lot for the the 20 year anniversary of Java um, this May. So it's a big initiative for Oracle to recognize this, um, to reward our community of Java supporters, um, and it's a very very active community as you can imagine. Um, once you're in this community, it it's not really Oracle's, it's the community's product, right? And it's, it's very active and um, we get a lot of um, a lot of participation in the Java communities and we have many of them at Oracle. So I think Diana, it would be, it would be good if you can actually, huh, it would be good if you can share with them, you know, how can they actually be part of that community? Okay, well we have, um, once you are into your Java um, training and if you were to earn a Java credential, um, there is a, the Java, if you, yeah, there's a Java user group, but within Oracle, there's a community hosted by the Oracle Technology Network, which is OTM. So if you were to log on to Oracle Technology Network, there's a whole community focused around Java, and it's a it's a free community. You don't have to pay to join. That you and it, again, it's not Oracle telling you about Java. It's the Java community telling each other, and that's oh. what we love about it. Is it's a forum. They're interacting. They're they're providing um you know technical skills and know-how and um. So it's, it's a very, as I said, a very, very rich community. It's got tremendous membership. And, um, you know, Oracle hosts the community, but there's also third-party communities as well. There's, there's many of them. Um, so make maybe. sure you participate in Oracle yeah. Technology Network. Yes. And get visibility on what's happening in the Java user group and what's Java all about and where is it moving. Yes. So be a part of Java. Yes. It's very important. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And then just, you know, the high demand for database administrators. Obviously, Oracle databases have been around for more than 20 years. So we're, I think we're at 20, 25, 27 years. But again, this is um, a continued projected growth area, Oracle DBA in particular. Um, the market for Oracle DBA is strong right now, and I would anticipate it. It would at least maintain that level or increase over the next 12 to 18 months. Um, and you know, the developing Oracle database skills leads to higher average salaries for DBAs. So again, third party data points around um, building your expertise in Oracle database administration. The opportunity. Okay, so these are a little bit busy slides, but I put them in. I just thought it might be interesting for you to see. Uh, we do a lot of digital advertising and a, a digital awareness at Oracle, uh, specifically in the certification area. So we're able to track trends. These are search trends. So, so when somebody's logging on to Google, if, how often are they searching on Oracle certification? Um, the second one actually happens to be Solaris. But you can see regionally where the demand is. And um, I thought this was kind of an interesting slide to show you uh, mm -hmm. for India. Where, Very interesting. Yeah, Very interesting. The, so the, the graph actually shows that Tamil Nadu and Karnataka and Andhra Pradesh are three uh, top, top cities where you can actually uh, have a more demand coming for Oracle certification. Exactly. So a south south zone, uh, you know, there's a trend. There's a trend for certification uh, in south zone very clearly visible here. Mm -hmm. 
and this is you know data that I look at with my team because we're we're very curious where the demand is too, right? Yeah. This is why I'm here in India is because this is just huge demand for Oracle certification. Um, and I should have said this at the beginning, but actually India makes up about 25% of all certifications delivered. Wow. So it's um it's a critical market for us, and um you can see that you know these are individuals searching to learn more about Oracle certification or to learn where they find people that have Oracle certifications or what have you, but these are search trends um, for India. Yeah, so students, it's very important for you to understand this. It's not only we as a product emphasizing or NIT uh, as emphasizing, but these are the trends which are very, very important for you to understand how important is certification moving forward. So this yeah. is and I think I, I think similar trend is what is visible uh, within our ecosystem also, Diana. So we also, if you if we go back and search for students who have taken certification maximum from which city, I think these are the cities oh, no. which are going to stop yes. stop us. So, okay. so I think the, the, they, yeah, they the trend up. actually matches up, right? Yes. Okay. And then um, these are the trends for both Java certification and database certification. So we're moving, you know, just from the generic Oracle certification to actually these specific uh, two certifications, Java and database. And you can see the search trends as well. And the same, the same locations are actually topping up in all the uh, interest yeah. areas. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I'll move on. Um, again, I know this is a, a fairly detailed slide, but we'll move on. And. Um, Hi, ma'am. I'm a system administrator, and how can Oracle DBA certification helpful in my career? So, so I think we should hold, hold on to the on questions question. right now, and we'll actually, uh, you know, later address the questions at the end of the session. So let us first move to move through the slides, and then we can actually answer all the questions in one go. Okay. Just hold on. Okay. And hopefully, my next this next session will help answer those questions. Yeah, maybe. All right. So we're talking about how do you get the job you want with Oracle certification? How is it going to get you that? That first job, that next job, that promotion, what have you. And so, what are the value? What is the value of Oracle certification, and why would you be interested? Okay. So we've talked about this. There's a huge community out there of certified professionals in the world, 1.9 million. So why would you want to get Oracle certified? Why do you want to take that time after you've already gone through a very rigorous training program? Um, you feel, you know, very capable in your skills. Why would you want to take the extra time? Um, the extra expense, I understand it's, you know, the extra expense to get that Oracle certification. And the, the three things that we say is, number one, it enables you to differentiate yourself. Uh, this is a very competitive market. I was actually doing some research this morning, and interestingly, um, India, by the year 2030, will have 28% of the entire world's working age population. Oh, that's an interesting number. <laughs> Which is fascinating to me. Yeah. So one country will have a quarter of the working age people in the whole world. Okay. Imagine the competition they would have. Right. Yeah. So you're you're sitting in that country right now. Um, it's very competitive, but you've you've taken the step to earn your your technology skills, and now you need to take that next step and get Oracle certified. Okay. This is um you know. The number one thing is you need to differentiate yourself from the next person. When you're going to apply for a job, when you're interviewing with a hiring manager, you want to be able to say that you're Oracle certified. This is basically Oracle stamp that you achieved a certain level of technical skill, and we're vouching for it. Okay, it's not a skill, and it's not an exam result um, at your school or what have you. This is Oracle Corporation putting the stamp on this. So we feel this is a way to really differentiate yourself. Uh, it also accelerates your career growth. So we, we find that once you get in a job, you have the ability to accelerate within that job if you're Oracle certified. So again, you're able to stand out amongst your peers as somebody that um, has taken on additional challenges, has you know maybe a next level of technical skill. And then finally, you know there is the earning potential. Um, you know I think we're all aware that you know the people that progress up the Oracle certification, um, even those you know that go all the way to Oracle Master, they're earning more money. I mean, they've, they've demonstrate, demonstrated themselves, they have incredible skills, and they should be rewarded for it. Yes. And also, Dinah, the moment they give the exam, mm -hmm. the confidence level on the subject matter yep. of experts, they, they it, really it go up high. Up. Yep. So yep. it is not only just the subject what you've learned, but your confidence after giving the exam is much, much higher yep. on the technical yep. bugs resolution. Exactly. Yeah. So I think these are kind of external motivators. 
So these are things that you're you're receiving from the outside. You're differentiating yourself. You're accelerating your growth, your skills, and your career, and you're perhaps getting more money. But there's the, the intrinsic benefits of pursuing certification, which I think we in the program actually put a, a lot of value on. The process of getting certificate certified is very rigorous. You have to you have to study. You are going to build confidence that you know the materials. You are going to have confidence that when you get into the job, you can step step up to a more involved project. I just think your overall confidence in yourself and what you can um, accomplish will go up once you, you know, you've had that third party say, yep, you're certified. So um, we we like to stress that part of um, the why and the benefits. Okay. So this is a, a survey, again, that we've done. Um, some of the things we've talked about, um, your professional credibility, your ability to get a job, your job prex, job prex, your earning power, and then this last one, you know, you find yourself to be more productive in your job. You just have a higher skill level. You'll be able to provide a higher level of service, as you were talking about. You can take on more complex projects. And, um, you know, these are all 70, 80 percent. And these are talking directly to this 1.9 million people that have achieved these. Um, this, isn't, this isn't what we're saying. This is what the candidates are telling us. So we're, we're really pleased um, with these results. I think these are very compelling. And um, again, there, there are extrinsic reasons to do it, but there's intrinsic intri reasons to do this as well. Okay, I'm going to just let that sit there just for a moment in case uh, it didn't load. Same question, just a minute. Okay. For Oracle DWS 11G, it's mandatory to have at least one course completion certificate. Is it mandatory even for three year experienced person? Yes. So for our um, professional level credential, this isn't for the associate level credential. For our higher level credential, which you know we're saying is more the bachelor's level degree, we do require a training requirement. And again, the the reason for that is we we don't want students that are just um, prepping for an exam and taking an exam. We don't want people that have had more of a holistic experience where they've gone through the training um, from Oracle or for one of our partners. So we find a lot of value in that training requirement. And also, and, and to be honest, the professional level credential actually requires some real world experience. And it's not a book test. It's not something you can study for and take. You need to have some work experience, um, have some professional training that goes with it in order to pass the exam. So those, those are the requirements that we put around our professional level credentials, um, 11G, database 11G being an example. All right. So again, these are some of the, the reasons why you would want to do this. Okay, I think there was a question earlier, why would I want to get certified? And we've seen that, you know, over the next two years, these reasons are actually growing. Um, that it's, um, this is really important, um, it's, it's actually growing. And the top benefits of certification versus just just training, and I think this gets to the crux of it here, is that if you're just doing training and not taking that extra step to take the exams and get certified, um, you know, you're, you're kind of missing out. You're missing out on the benefits of certification, and you're you're missing out on this third-party validation of your skills and expertise. Okay. A few more testimonials. Again, third parties just providing some some value and some uh, validation on the importance of certification. These are hiring managers. If you have two candidates with the exact same uh, CV and one of them has certification on it and one does not, you know, the certification gives you an edge. So in this highly competitive job market, although there's lots of demand, there's lots of supply, a way to differentiate yourself, certification is is one of those ways. Yeah, and also uh, these days it's not just getting a job, it's mm -hmm. the growth which is very important. Yes. So the faster you get certified, the better it is. One and other is the upgrade, mm -hmm. which is constantly on an exam and sitting right. back. Yes. So I get think it's a very there. dynamic industry that way. Absolutely. So the students have to understand you're into an aggressive market. Competent enough. To match up to the skill set. So, so, yeah. uh, so Shanti, while you're talking about upgrades, uh, are there actually exams which uh, are going to be only for upgrades from a previous version to a latest yes. version? Yes. So, if the students are go undergoing uh, Oracle 10G uh, 
course right now or 11 g course right now and tomorrow when they actually go into the uh, world of you know working professionals absolutely. do you think they can actually take up a 12 c upgrade exam only yeah absolutely in fact now dyna would be uh, i'm sure uh, we have started marking on uh, uh, 9 i where they have to upgrade themselves oh. to 10g and 11g if yes. not that Okay. you would want to talk yes. about it. Yes, yes, I will. Just a, a, a quick snapshot of our top 10 certifications. This is globally um, for all all markets, um, WDP in our workforce markets as well as our uh, enterprise markets. And so you can see, you know, where people are getting certified today. Um, 12C is, was released last year, and this is the uh, fastest growing. So we have a lot of people that are interested in that. but they're often upgrading um many are working in an 11g or even a 10g uh their enterprise or their company is as uh, implemented oracle 10g or 11g and they're trying to to build their skills as shanti was mentioning and so we do have upgrade exams for people to uh pursue in order to get to the latest versions okay so now we're going to switch gears a little bit more and i'm just going to walk you through the steps so if we've convince you that there's a market demand and the value in certification how do you do it what what do you do to get certified so i just wanted to take you through um these six steps to get certified my recommendation is the first thing you do is you go check out our website the certification.oracle.com as i told you before with over a million visitors every month people just like yourself logging on to learn about certification and when you get onto that website we have it organized by job role So if you think I want to be a database administrator, you can log on to that part of the website and learn about the certifications that map to a database administrator. If you're a Java developer, likewise. And it, we spend a lot a lot of time my team on updating that website and making sure that the information is is very current and very helpful. That's our goal. We want people to log on to our site and get the information we need. They need. So when you log on to the Oracle certification website, you will learn about the actual certifications but the minimum certification there are exams some certification require just one exam some of our higher level certifications require one or two exams so you'll be able to learn about the path that you must take in order to get to a certification what exams you need to um complete and then when you've made that decision you can actually look at the exam and you select the exam that you want to take and within that every one of the exam topics that you will be tested on is listed in the description So line by line, very detailed. We're not telling you what we're going to ask you, but we are telling you the topics that we covered in the exam. So we're not trying to be sneaky here. We're we're very much, you know, this is this is the certification, these are the exams, and these within these exams are the exam topics. So you can do a lot of self-research to understand the scope of uh technology that you're going to be responsible for understanding in order to earn that certification. Um and like I said, it's a very very robust website we spend a lot of energy to keep it updated so that it can provide you a service and so then once you decide on the certification and the exam then you need to take action in getting prepared so i'm sure you have many pre- preparation materials available to you um in your studies you may have to do some extra preparation on your own but i would recommend that you use the exam topics as your guide and that you go through each topic and make sure that you're prepared on that specific topic If you need to use practice materials, we have some of those available on our website as well. But that really is the process that you go through. Complete your training, find your exam, go through exam topics and complete your preparation. And then once you've gotten to that state, you can go ahead and register for your exam right here through NIT because we have our you know, testing centers are available directly. So it's hopefully quite convenient for you to take your exam. That's it. Those are the steps. Um I was asked to speak a little bit about CertView. So once you have completed your exam, we have a candidate portal. So this is Oracle Certification Candidate Portal. Everybody who's part of our program has a, a profile on this portal on this um candidate portal. You will log on to it using your Oracle single sign-on. So you'll have to get an Oracle single sign-on one time. Once you have that, it takes you into your dedicated portal within CertView. And again, we've spent a lot of time over the last 2 to 3 years building out the capabilities of CertView. So we're very proud of what we have for you. Uh once you log on, you'll be able to see your exam results immediately. So your exam results will come up. 
you'll be able to view your exam score report, which goes into detail. Um, hopefully you pass, and if you um, have some areas to work on, it will detail the areas that you should focus on. You'll be able to see your exam history, your certification history. You'll be able to uh, download immediately an e-certificate, so the, the printed certificate that um, represents your accomplishments. You'll be able to click, immediately print it out at your desktop. It's, it's all um, self-service, and we've again, we've invested a lot of energy in this area to help it. We just want to be more helpful for you. You've, you've extended a lot of energy, effort, and expense to get certified, and we want to make sure that we have the tools for you so you can log on to your own portal and get the information you need. And then finally, if you have a, a third party that's asking, oh, are you really certified? You know, you know, prove it to me. We actually offer a verification directly from Oracle. It's a self-service tool within your, your portal on CertView. All you do is type in the email address of the person that you want to verify this to, and they'll receive an email directly from Oracle Corporation oh, wow. saying, yep, Diana Godwin is 11G database administrator, and this will be completely um, authorized by Oracle. You will never see this email. You can get a copy, but it, it goes directly from Oracle to the third party. So I think it's very, um, very high integrity, and it's a way to, to share your credentials for third party to a third party. And again, this is all available directly from CertView, all self-service. You don't need to call anybody, email anybody to do this for you. Oh. Okay? So I just wanted to make sure yeah, that everybody was aware of CertView. Okay. So I think we're now into the last uh, section. Should we, are there any questions that we should check before we go there or? Yeah. Okay. So we can just check some questions. If Uh, when someone is asking, Oracle can be done by any student, irrespective of their stream, art, science, or commerce. <laughs> yes, yeah, see, it's, yeah. it's a it's a technology that, in case if you actually you have a bent towards uh, technology, then Oracle is a program that you can actually enroll for. Uh, it doesn't really matter whether you're an art stream or science stream or commerce stream. What matters is which job profile do you want to actually get into. So, if you want to get into IT industry, yes. This is a right choice for you. Mm -hmm. And many, many, many people in our program don't start out as a computer science major to begin with, come from a more liberal arts background, and then they decide they have an interest in computer science and they pursue studies there. And so as I told you about myself 20 years ago, I had that same experience. I didn't start out in computer science, but I decided that was an interest. And so I pursued that. I got my necessary studies done, and then I went to work for Oracle. So um, I'm, I'm a living example of somebody who didn't necessarily start out on day one in a computer science Absolutely. background. Yeah. So it is, it's open to, to everybody, and um, we really do encourage that. And I actually think, personally, when you become a technologist, if you have a business background um, or a broader background, you actually become more, you can be more powerful in your role. So, okay. So let's um, finish off here. This is the last section, and I want to give you some, some of the new things that are coming from us. Okay. So um, we were talking a little bit about upgrade paths, um, and I just this slide is just to let you know that we've actually introduced a streamlined update, update I'm sorry, upgrade path for both Java and database. So if you are a, a Java de developer and you may have earned your credential on an older version, you automatically can upgrade to the most current version with just one exam. And we've done a lot of work in this area to make sure that the exam addresses all the technology changes that have happened over the years. So perhaps, you know, and maybe not, this audience may not have an older credential, but there are many people out there. We've got hundreds of thousands of people who have older Java credentials who we want to encourage to upgrade to the latest version of um, and we want to make it easy for them. Obviously, we want to have a comprehensive exam that uh, assesses their skills, but we want to make it easy. We don't want to you know, go here and then go here and go here to get there. So we've uh, implemented these new streamlined Java certification paths. And this is brand new. These are, are coming out um, in June, actually. We, uh, we have one upgrade exam available, and the next one will be coming out in June. So we're very excited about this opportunity. And again, it's about um, for making things easy for our candidates. We want our candidates to be successful in their jobs. We want them to feel like they can upgrade without a huge amount of uh, expense and energy. 
So, uh, Diana, this is very interesting. Just uh, help us understand. Is there an upgrade path from a, uh, one version previous only, or you can actually upgrade to two versions yes. at yes. a time? Yes. Also? So that's what's new. Is we're providing this, enabling you to jump versions. Oh, yes. So if a person is Java 5 certified, he can jump to Java 7 directly, or if he's Java 6, then he can jump to Java 8 directly. Is it? Yeah. Oh, whatever you use. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we we just feel like there's um. That's just interesting. Trying to, so basically, even a older version person also can upgrade himself to the new version. So if there is some mandatory small training which is required, that also. You have the same. That's very exciting. The same with uh, 12C. Again, this is a very exciting release from Oracle Corporation. Um, you know, we're we're building up our customer base on this new technology. And as more and more customers have implemented 12C, you know, they will need uh, the database administrators to upgrade. So we have the same thing. We, you can upgrade from any prior OCP directly to 12C. Wow. Um, so again, a lot of work was done to make sure that the, the, the exam maps to these technology changes and that mm -hmm. we're actually appropriate testing you, but we're not going to make you take a test here and then another test here in order to get there. We want to make it easy and streamlined. Um, so we now are offering these uh, streamlined upgrade exams. Okay. These are our new certifications that are coming out. Um, I think we're all aware of the the excitement around cloud. So we will have an expert exam for both the database and Java Java credentials uh, in the cloud. And as I mentioned earlier, if you remember earlier on, you would earn your OCP, your Oracle Certified Professional Level Credential, and then you could do an add-on, is kind of what we call it, and become an expert. So you can become an expert in the database cloud, an expert in the Java cloud. Um, those are our first two cloud releases. I'm sure there will be more. And then we're also focusing on security. As we saw on the slide early on, as everything is moving to be digital, and we're all very dependent on um, the computers, security is critical. So you'll be able to earn your expert credential around security. And this is also under development. Oh. So all the cloud level certifications are expert yes. level yes. certifications. Yes. Do, we, do we also have some uh, cloud certifications at professional level? Well, we do. Um, they're not technically in, they're more targeted at implementation people, so consultants. OK. Yes. But we do have some existing cloud credentials as well. Oh. OK. We just have a few more slides here, but I think this is actually might be the most exciting slide this year. Um, so we are partnering with LinkedIn, and what we want to do, and I'm sure LinkedIn is popular in this market. Yes, LinkedIn is yes. very popular okay. in the student community also now. Right. So when you build your LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn has come back to me and said, for anybody that has an Oracle certification on their profile, they get six times more views of their profile, six times more redirects delight-minded professionals. So this is like a, a beacon when you've got Oracle certification. When you have certification in your LinkedIn profile, it raises your it raises the view of your profile, the interest, and the activity around your profile. So we thought this was very, very exciting. Um, right now, we've got about 100,000 uh, LinkedIn profiles that are uh, showcasing their Oracle certifications. India, actually, is our number one market. So um, I think the data was about 25,000 LinkedIn profiles uh, showing Oracle certifications, we obviously want to really accelerate that number. Wow. Wow. So we're really working to figure out how can we help people get their Oracle certification into their LinkedIn profile easily so that they can, again, showcase their Oracle skills. And so that's what this next slide is about. This is a newer initiative in the market, and it's called digital badging. So what this is, this is essentially taking your Oracle certificate that you may get mailed, receive in the mail, or that you download from our website, your e-certificate. And it's making it a digital entity. And we will be issuing you a digital badge, which you can see there. And when you receive that badge, if you were to put that onto your LinkedIn page, or distribute it, it, um, Twitter, or your Facebook page, or any other social media, when somebody mouses over that badge, the data that's next to it will show up every time. Oh. So it's like a living and breathing um, credential, digital credential. And all of your information, obviously the, the certificate that you earned, your name, the date you earned it, 
um, keywords associated with what you did to get there, a description of the um, exam that you used or exams that you went through in order to earn that credential, if you had to go to training, that you went to training. And these are always verifiable. So I, I am just really, really excited about this. Um, the, a movement within the whole um, credentialing industry is everybody's moving to digital credentials. So starting next year, if you or if you earn an Oracle certified associate or professional or any of our credentials, we will send this to you immediately, and you'll be able to just post it. There's, it's not. It's all based on open standards. It's um, Mozilla open standards. So there's nothing. You don't have to code anything or do anything. You just take the URL, put it on um, wherever you want it to be presented, and this digital badge will show up. And then if somebody sees it, they mouse over it. They'll be able to see all this. We call it metadata that sits behind it. Wow. And it they are certified. They get the digital badge. We will send you the digital badge. Wow. And so this digital badge can also be uh, put into the CV. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can put into the CV, and even when the employer actually goes to the CV, just can yeah. browse through and yeah. you know, see the entire yeah. credit. Wow. Yeah, yeah, wow. It's very, very powerful. Oh. So it's re it's replacing static logos and physical certificates, um, you know, with it with a digital asset. So we are, um, again, working very closely with our partner to develop these badges and actually the, the operational part of issuing them. But then we're working with um, companies like LinkedIn, as I mentioned earlier, to make it this just a one click. So once you get it, you click on it, and it immediately goes into your page. Mm -hmm. And so they're, again, they're trying to make it as easy as possible for individuals to promote themselves as Oracle certified, so they, they see that as value a value that LinkedIn can provide on their profiles, and they want obviously people to view their profiles. Right. So they're working with companies like us to enable this one click. So we're extremely excited about this benefit. I think it will be a, a tremendous benefit to our candidates, and you know, especially in a market like India, where um, you know you need to be able to provide proof of what you've achieved. Um, you don't really need to now carry your physical no, uh, so certificates and transcripts, true. you know, with you. So students, I think this is a this this is what is indicating is we all are moving on to the digitization. Yeah. So it's important for you to also understand and uh, understand the thing is going to be on there. There is nothing that physically you have. And you know, we've seen examples of uh, you know once you. You're in your credential. You tweet about it, then it gets retweeted, and you know Absolutely. people will congratulate you. And so, pretty sure that's gone Such viral out there. Really Everybody knows yeah. about your Oracle certification. Where Absolutely. not in this world, you know, you would have gotten an e-certificate or a piece of paper. You would have had to tell people. And this way, you're 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 and able also to you're tweeting each other. So that's yeah. that's, that's, that's <laughs> a, yeah, you're making yourselves popular. So yeah. Facebook, I think we should get onto Twitter now more. Yeah. 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 Yeah, so we're really excited about this, and this is um, we're implementing it right now. So we're hoping to have it available in the start of our new fiscal year, which is June. So please get your LinkedIn profiles up to it's to oh, people, uh, yep. students who do not have. So yep. get you make make your profile on LinkedIn. Absolutely. Get yourself get start getting get up. So yep. this is your future. Yeah. Okay, and this is actually our last slide. I'm right on time. Um, I just want to you know, reiterate that there are a lot of resources out there. Once you're in the Oracle community, we really encourage you to take advantage of these. Or if you're interested in Oracle certification, log on to our website. Uh, check out our blog. Actually, the Oracle certification blog is one of the top read blogs of all Oracle, which I think is very exciting. You know, Oracle okay. technologists blog constantly, but ours is one of the top, the top blogs out there. And then we have presence on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube. Uh, we issue an e-magazine. We have forums. This OTN that I mentioned earlier is you can get the URL there. Um, you can log on and, and participate in the certification forums and OTN, and of course CertView. Um, you know, once you have an Oracle profile, you can log on and, and view your your candidate portal, portal on Oracle CertView platform. Thanks so much, Diana. I think we all are now, you know, excited to take up the next day certification. <laughs> it actually gives, it gives so much of value uh, add to us now. I think we, we all need to get hooked to the certification page immediately. So I think let's open the lines for questions now. Uh, we all are here to actually, uh, you know, address all the questions that you have. Although we are left with very limited time, but we'll try to address whatever comes first. And in case if there are any which are left pending, please don't hesitate. Uh, post your questions to your local coordinator, and the question will reach us soon, and we'll answer the query. Okay. Let's so let's let's start. Yeah. 
yeah, so just taken this question. Good morning for beginners in Java and Oracle SQL, which certification is suitable for us? Okay. So would you want to take it? Sure. Then? So we have an associate credential for Java programmers. So um, I would encourage you to, to log on the website, search on Java, and you'll be able to see the associate level uh, certification, which is available to you. So there, so that, uh, is it important for a person to go through associate level certification first and then only he can go for a, a professional yes. or he can directly go to professional in also? OCP, we have two exams. There's also an OTA and there is an yeah. exam. So it, it is a prerequisite. It's a prerequisite. Yeah. Okay. So we do require associate level because the exams build on themselves. Mm. Okay. So at the P level, we, we don't test you on, on content that you would have been assessed on at the associate level. Okay. You know that. Now we're moving on to your professional level skills. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hope that answers your question. What is the future for Java developers in the upcoming years? <laughs> okay. Well, I think um, hopefully the, the external data that I shared with you um, yeah. was very compelling. Um, so I think there's a huge, huge opportunity. So as you know, Dinah has sh had already shared with us that Java is everywhere. You know, it's, it's used across all uh, industries. Uh, I think the, the mention of the industries that you actually had that clearly showcases how the future of Java are going to be. So for Java developers, uh, there is there is a bright future. So if you see even the trend that uh, uh, Diana had actually shown us, which very clearly shows the web developers growth over years. Yep. I think there was 32 percent growth yep. that you had actually uh, shown for Java developers. Yep. So, so the future is going to be bright. Don't worry about it. Uh, okay, so we have uh, one more question saying Oracle is always catered mm -hmm. to current trend, starting from Oracle 9i, 10g, which is great, and now 12c. What next? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm sure that they're they're working very hard on the next version, whether it will be 12cg or if we're on to 13. Um, you know, we've seen a, the life cycle of Oracle products to be about five years. Okay. So, I mean, that's. And that's not to say that it's going to be five years, but that's what we've experienced. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's about that time frame. the trend has been. Yeah. And so, um, you know, the good news is if you, it, it's it's maybe not as um, fluid as some some technologies where you get in, the next thing you know, a new version's already out. So I think if you invest the time and the energy to get 11G or 12C uh, certified, you you can be confident that there will be a market for those skills for quite a while. Okay, so uh, someone is asking for the cost details of Java SC7 certification. So see, uh, the cost uh, costs are going to be different uh, for various countries. Uh, for India, it's uh, $100 uh, for an associate exam and $125 for uh, the professional exam, right? No, it's not that way. Andrew. Okay, so uh, I so think it would be good if you can actually address that. 125 is our uh, doctor is $150, which okay. is 8769 is the INR price. Okay. You can okay. contact your local center's uh, desk for more. What is the validity of any certification which we get from Oracle? Okay. So I can speak to that. Um, so we have, um, we do require recertification, but right now we're, re we're requiring individuals who are certified on 9i to upgrade to either 11G or 12C. So we always will maintain two versions in the market at okay. any time. Okay. If that makes sense. So at the point when we were to release, you know, Oracle Database 13D or whatever it's going to be, at that point we would start moving people off of uh, 11G to get them to move to 12C or the next version. So there's always going to be two versions out there that are active that if you're on those versions, you're fine. You don't need to recertify. But once it becomes quite old, maybe 10 years old, we re will require you to recertify your skills onto a a more current version. So that's oh. exactly the upgrade what we were also talking yes. about. So, so, uh, so if, I, if I go by actually what uh, recently you just shared, saying that generally a Oracle, Oracle product is there in the market for at least five years. You know, right. So, so we allow two versions. Yeah, and allow two versions, so it's approximately ten years. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. So it's not like I said, it, it's not moving super quickly. Yeah. Uh, so there's there's, I think it's a it's a, a good investment to uh, get certified in a current version today and it will be around for quite a while. Okay, so the, <laughs> there is one question I think. Uh, we, we do face some kind of uh, certification issues. Uh, there is a person from Kashmir saying the only problem we face is Oracle certification examination in Kashmir. 
considering the pool of talent and JNIT students we have, can can easily qualify Oracle exams. Please guide and answer. So there are we don't have a view testing sites, you know, at all the locations. So I think the question actually is, uh, how do we go ahead and give the Oracle certification exam when we don't have a view testing site at a particular location? Mm -hmm. So would you want to actually recommend something? Are there any uh, other ways? Or the person actually has to travel to the nearest location that the site is going to be. Yeah, I mean, we we try to be very geographically complete, but yeah. I'm sure there are pockets of the world where we don't have a view center. We've got 4,800 centers around the world. Um, you know, if you've identified it as a problem, you know, I'd like to know about it. If you feel like there's a critical mass of of individuals who would like to get certified in a market and there's not a testing center, I'd like to know about it. Okay. So thanks, Shrinagar. I think we will take this up uh, and we'll see how exactly the view site can be made available to, to you at your location itself. Uh, for non-IT uh, students, what is this, what certification is better? I think... Uh, to wake up question yeah. to answer this uh, <laughs> from Rajaji Nagar, we know Kumar. Okay. Because I think let's skip that one. Which one is best, Java or Oracle? <laughs> <laughs> See, Java and Oracle both question. are one, actually. Yeah. You know, it's, it's, Java is not a separate entity. Mm -hmm. Oracle, I know, want to hear it from you. Yeah, I, I can't say which is better. It's a personal preference. What type of work do you enjoy? What type of work environment do you want to be Absolutely. in? Absolutely. Um, and it's an individual preference, actually. Preference. Yeah, you want so. to get into a programming site, so Java is a good one. Administrator, uh, 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 database is again is an issue product, so a database administrator are good at uh, analogy and these things. So I would explore them, um, understand the technologies and how they're different, and then make a decision. Um, both of them are sponsored, though, by Oracle. So Java is, is part of Oracle, as well as Oracle um, database. And they both sit under the umbrella of Oracle Corporation and under the umbrella of our program. Something like in a science book, yeah. <laughs> chemistry. <laughs> so it's your individual choice. I guess I have another question from uh, Pune uh, Deccan. Uh, I have done one. I have done with OCA, which is 10G database. Is it necessary uh, to have course completion certificate mm -hmm. to become OCP with 11G database? Yes. So our um, professional level certification does require a course completion. So you would take an upgrade exam. So you would upgrade directly from 10G to 11G, and then you would um, complete some form of courseware to go with that. Okay. Course. The course material is required. The course certificate is required. Yeah. Okay. From where can we get a reference material for associate exam in Java? Yeah, I I would recommend you start on our website. I, I really feel like we've um, we provide a very comprehensive review of the exam topics, and so I would start there and understand what the the content is in the exam, and then that will help you with your preparation. Oh, so will I be eligible for recruitment interview for oracle.com mm -hmm. after having oracle certification? <laughs> See, so, oracle having, uh, uh, taking an oracle product across the globe. Yeah. Where so we have system, a, system integrators mm -hmm. who actually are using you oracle technology. And system integrators yeah. where you can apply okay. and you can do yeah. the job. We go back to that graph that had all those company names on it. 97% of the Fortune 500 companies, these are the major companies across the globe, Absolutely. run Oracle. Yeah. So yeah. all of those companies would be hiring an Oracle, somebody that had Oracle skills and Oracle certification. And th this doesn't mean that you cannot get to Oracle. What is the pass percentage in Oracle exam? So for each exam, it differs, and that is posted on the website. So I would suggest you go to the certification.oracle.com, explore the exam that you're interested in, and there will be a stated pass rate on the exam. Absolutely. Wow. There is a tenure duration of the exam and a uh, pass percentage. So every exam has a different Take some someone on air now. Uh, I think we just let us just try calling Jayanagar uh, and see who is sitting there and if there is any question. Uh, so we have uh, Chatra SD from uh, Jayanagar, Bangalore. 
Hi, we can see you. Yes, do you have any question? How would you want to give any views on the session today? We can see you. Morning, Chetra. Chetra, are we audible to you? Okay, so let us try the next one. I don't know. I'm we'll not too sure here. whether, yeah, we'll come back here. Uh, would you help us connect? Okay, it's connected. Connect, connect the other one. Please pick random and. Yes. You can have. We can see a student from uh, Jayanagar. Hello, ma'am. How are you? Hello. Yes. You can speak now. Speak. You're on air now. Can you just try some other uh, location? No, she's not speaking. Okay. She's not speaking. She's not speaking. Just try Secunderabad. So uh, just connect connect to the Secunderabad uh, center or we have uh, Secunderabad center uh, here. Anyone, any any question, any any views that you have? for the session would request the uh, SLT coordinator to please hand over the uh, mic to someone. No questions? Okay. Hello, ma'am. Good morning. Hello. Good morning. Yes. Uh, it was a very nice session. Thank you for the valuable information. And uh, we'll what's your name? Try for the certification. Krishna. Krishna. Okay. Krishna Vishwanath. Okay. Uh, uh, right now, I'm taking courses for Java. So you're taking courses for Java. Uh, have you finished your yeah, Core Java programming? And the Core Java it is still in the session. Okay. So do you After do you do you feel excited yeah, that you need to complete your uh, Java course and take up a certification and avail all the benefits that you have for that certification? Definitely, there are benefits of taking the certification. And we are writing certification examination. I think it will be in the month of March. We have already registered for that certification. Very good. I mean that that's really that's really very really nice. So you all feel uh, why certification is Thank important you. today after the session? Certification is important because um, to have a good growth in the career. Absolutely. Learning is not only important thing, we need to find the certificates as well, so <laughs> that's the reason. Okay. As you have uh, shown that 13% hype will be the difference between the certified employees and non-certified employees, so certification is definitely an important thing. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for saying that. Okay. Mm -hmm.
so uh, she will connect to some other center also one and also parallel let me also check if there are any questions can i just have a look at the question screen once uh, in case if there are any more questions left somebody is saying please connect me can you please connect uh, varanagar they want us to connect Hello. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. Hello. Yes. We can hear you. It's okay. Hello. We are not able to see you completely. Okay. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning. My name is Shomik. Good morning. Uh, I am now just uh, just studying the uh, SQL. So I want to know about the uh, study material or some books that will help me a good marks. in oracle uh, global certification so can you give me some books name or study material or how i can get this study material so basically want to know are there any reference any books there are any reference material some that will help me well, i would recommend if you well, i would recommend actually you know, just in a book so we have a partner called oracle we have a partner called oracle <laughs> If you uh, excuse me, please repeat. क्वेश्चन पेपर Is it sufficient to get a good marks in uh, Oracle Global Certification? Actually, no. What Oracle officially also says. So Oracle officially also says that you can get a good marks in Oracle Global Certification. question is there if i am now doing any job regarding this sql and after two pose uh, or it is requiring a lot of organizations what is the reason <laughs> okay so i think uh, it's it's always important to actually have uh, associated with the best of the brand and that's the strategy that oracle actually follows yeah. so uh, even even acquisition of java was the same strategy line itself okay advantages of oracle certifications over net certification i think uh, although we uh, there, there are no uh, trends which are uh, shown during the presentation but a very clear study that we actually had very clear uh, trend graph that we had seen in the previous uh, presentation not here today uh, dotnet uh, certification 
also is important because certifications actually give you a global identity but when it comes to jobs i think there are specific markets specifically in south where you actually have more demand for java over .net and i think uh, naina you can also share some kinds if you have uh, for .net and java yeah i don't have anything specific on that nothing specific but uh, clearly there are some markets where you actually have more demand for java uh, and there are uh, yeah, some so markets some where you have dot, .net certification in java so other things it is uh, some evident uh, proofs where the oracle certified and oracle uh, uh, java people update higher than yeah so the average that's salary that's for a java programmer is higher than a dotnet programmer okay so that's the latest one that has nothing oracle to do about it but uh, this is the market trend this is the hot product which is preferred by the si space system integrators within india and trend has been yeah there is one question saying java plus oracle is it necessary to study them simultaneously see see if you if you are actually if you are enrolled for a java uh, programmer obviously it is important for you to be a for for you to be a web developer or for you to be a complete developer you need to have at least the database connectivity uh, you know re knowledge necessary is there so what you can do is if you if you are actually want to get into a web development line then you have to take up take up a path of java but just for a back end connectivity for a database connectivity you can probably go through a pl sql or an introduction to sql kind of a module but in case if your interest is towards dba then java may not be the right track for you am i right oh uh, so ma'am this is anvinder from jalandhar center i'm just want to know what is the role of dba in any it company you can just take the uh, as such uh, what is what is the role of a dba what what exactly uh, what are the responsibilities for dba uh, shanti would you want to take it so so it's very simple um, uh, the, see any organization i'll give you a simple example outsource their it the it has to be managed or though they have not outsourced the entire it has to be managed which is done through their servers so database administrator typically uh, administer this complete data ensure the security and they monitor the data and the servers which they do not go down so this it is a very critical role it's a very critical role so i think uh, rest of the questions we've already covered you know because there are many repeat questions which are coming in uh we be already uh, 20 minutes you know behind this i think we need to now wind up uh a la last line that you want to say uh dina to all these people yeah well i i just think that there's a lot of great questions and there were some individuals on the phone as well we want to make sure that your questions get answered so we do have a forum on if you can if you go to the certification.oracle.com page there is a certification forum where you can ask your questions so we oh, do wow. want to make sure that um if you have outstanding questions you get the answers you need but I encourage you to log on to the website uh look for the oracle forum i think actually it might have been on my last slide um where um there's these forums out there that you can join into and um you can ask them your questions often your questions are being asked by others so you can just you know search on the forum and get your um your question already been answered by somebody but i would you encourage you to you know if you have questions if you're interested in oracle certification you know please make the effort to log on the website um educate yourself and then if you have outstanding questions um you know get your answers because it's very important that you're educated and and how you could pr proceed in this and there's a tremendous amount of opportunity for you and um we're really excited about oracle certification specifically in india so um i'm hoping that this was helpful for you today uh that we at least gave you a, a some insight into what's out there and that you can go ahead and pursue it for next steps so and again so thank you for your time and your interest thank you so much dana yep. thank you we really pleased to you know, have you here yeah, thank you <laughs> and address all our students yeah, thank, yeah. thank you thank, thank you, you so much bye bye have a nice day